Hey, welcome back guys. Today we're going to visit the educational side of virtual reality. So today experience is going to be Mission ISS. It's basically showing you how to be an astronaut or what they, what goes into being an astronaut in outer space on the space station. This particular experience is actually slow paced. So if you do have the time, sit down and you know just take a little chill pill and um watch the experience because you know what it might spark your imagination it might spark your child imagination hell it might even inspire you to buy the game for your child so they can you know have an imagination you know some kids nowadays are just eh, bland so um let's get to it all right and let's enjoy this experience together oh yeah by the way if you like the channel please like share and subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell and there will be some cards up here so you can visit other videos of mine. So let's hop to it. All right, guys. So now that we're in here, let's do um, a little bit of this. Let's take a photo Mission Control to ISS. Please go to Node 3 for capsule docking. I say again, please go to Node 3 for capsule docking. Use your tablet to see where Node 3 is located. When you have the map up, you'll be able to select any module by pointing and touching it with your right index finger, and you'll immediately go there. Whether you use your hand controls or are selected on the tablet, proceed to Node 3. The name of Node 3 is Tranquility. This is where oxygen generation, uh, carbon dioxide removal, and water recovery really is done on the ISS. Space. So, if you haven't found it already, look around for the cupola. Depending on how you're oriented, you can probably find it below you. Without gravity, you can rotate yourself and turn head over heels to make yourself upside down relative to the station. Press up on your right thumbstick to rotate until the cupola is over your head. Then, move yourself up and inside. This is what the, cupola the cupola is every astronaut's favorite location on the ISS because it has such a fantastic view of the Earth. Take a moment to see what home looks like from 250 miles above the surface. This is also a great spot to watch approaching spacecraft. We have an unmanned resupply mission ready to dock at the station. You'll need to commence manual docking. Initiate the docking procedure from your tablet by tapping on your selection with your finger. Approach the controls and we'll guide you through the procedure. Now that you're at the controls, you'll see monitors showing the view from your external cameras. The joysticks in front of you will control the Remote Manipulator System, or RMS, which is the main robotic arm. The RMS is attached to a platform called the Mobile Base System, or MBS. The translational joystick can move straight in any direction. In and out, left and right, up and down. You should be able to see both the capsule and the capture port on two monitors. Try moving the joysticks and see how the robotic arm responds. As long as you proceed slowly, things should be fine. You'll need to line up the latching end of the arm to the capsule docking port. And once you're connected, initiate capture. You should see the docking port highlighted on the capsule above you. Move the arm to capture position and lock onto the port. We are monitoring your progress have the green light to proceed. So up is down. Okay. Okay, I see you on the bottom, so. Do not hit the ground. Oops, I'll try again. <laughs> Take it slowly this time. My bad.
Take your time, ISS. Ah, did you hear it?
No shit. seen ISS. Why don't you let us handle the next one? And when you return, be sure to put in for some more training time at Johnson's VR lab. So you kind of have to flip yourself a little inside the space station. a little um, disoriented, you know. See the little light here? You can actually point at certain objects and click on it. But it gives you history. You might want to see what the helmet looks like. It's pretty cool too. We don't usually go out like this, so you usually can see when the helmet's open. These are actual like astronauts. Looks like inside. Did you hear the name? Did you hear that? They actually do the sound effects and stuff as well. Inside of there, but the helmet stays still, so it's uh, determined your, your how far you can see. <clears throat> I like the little history lesson, not history lesson, but lessons they give you and the equipment as well. Let's 
start stage one. This is the giant airlock, the airlock in the Japanese laboratory. And it's used to, to move stuff from inside the space station to outside the space station. Uh, most of the time it's small satellites that are grabbed by the Japanese robot arm and deployed into their orbit. Sometimes it's experiments that need to be installed outside the station and then maybe in the future even run back in and download it back to Earth. So how does it work? Let's say that I need to Come in, 
ISS. Something was wrong with our readings. Capsule pressurization has been confirmed. I say again, capsule pressurization is confirmed. Structural integrity is intact. Return to airlock immediately. Your oxygen supply is low. Push off the station and use your safer pack to maneuver back to the airlock. Your left thumbstick will activate your thrusters. But yeah, this is just to give you guys a, a little overview on education and the experience you can get in VR, but you can really get in a classroom or anywhere else. So, hey, if you guys liked it, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, alright? And remember, for all your pain, you check back.